Hi everyone, in this video tonight we're going to be having a look at integrating film devices into your text response essay. Now I won't be going over what film devices or film techniques are, but instead I'll be looking at how to use specific examples within your body paragraphs in essays. So, film devices and techniques. What they can do is they can be used in place of one of the quotations in your body paragraph. Now, I always encourage my students to include one quotation and one film device or technique. Try to display an understanding of the director's intent when you're talking about the film device. And really the purpose of using the technique is to support the argument that you're making in your body paragraph. The first example that I'm going to go through is a Zootopia example. We can see the image here that I will be putting into my body paragraph. And in it, the small rabbit, Judy, is of equal height now to the rhino. And what I'm going to be talking about is how this blurred background allows for us to see the growth and development of Judy Hopp as a character. So, the essay question that I'm going to be answering is... Zootopia breaks down stereotypes through the development of its characters. Discuss. Okay, here we go. Byron Howard and Richard Moore use film devices and the character Judy Hopps to refute the reality of stereotypes. Protagonist Judy Hopps is initially portrayed as a strong-willed yet undervalued police officer. This is identified when she is called cute and assigned parking duty on her first day of work when a serious case needs solving. However, later in the film, when Hops is solving the case, Moore and Howard use background and camera angles, angles to portray Judy Hops as equally as big as a rhino officer. This camera angle and the use of background represents her personal growth as a leader and furthermore demonstrates how she as a rabbit has reduced stereotypical borders to succeed in an unlikely situation. So we can see that in this body paragraph, I started with the two quotations calling her cute and parking duty, and then moved on later to explaining how this scene, the film techniques and the background were evidence of Hops's growth as a character and as a person. It links in really nicely with my argument, and it also talks about Howard and Moore's authorial purpose. The second example we'll be going through is an example from the rabbit proof fence. Now, in this, I'm going to use the example of the low camera angle looking at Mr. Neville and the white costumes of the girls. And I might see if I can put into that how the girls are often perceived using a high camera angle. So the essay question I'll be answering is how does the film Rabbit Proof Fence position an audience to feel for the Indigenous Australians? Here we go. Rabbit Proof Fence encourages the audience to feel enraged towards the treatment of Indigenous Australians through the use of film devices such as camera angles and costumes in the depiction of Moore River. During their time at Moore River, the children wear white costumes or uniforms, and this is symbolic of the White Australia policy, enforcing its ideology of assimilation onto the innocent children. Further to this, the children are often shot at a high camera angle, encouraging us to think of them as weak and Mr. Neville, in comparison, is frequently filmed at a low camera angle, highlighting his strength and power. Through the combination of these film techniques, Philip Noyce portrays the scene of Moor River, River as a pivotal moment for the audience to learn of the treatment of Indigenous Australians at the native settlements and the implications of the White Australia policy. So, within this body paragraph, I've used my film devices and the idea of costumes to prove a point, which is how Indigenous Australians have been portrayed in Rabbit Proof Fence. Hopefully, this video has really helped you to have a look at how you can integrate film techniques and devices into your text response body paragraphs. Really, what it's about is simply identifying what film techniques and devices are used to portray characters in certain ways, portray settings or scenes in certain ways, and even more important can be how they've changed and developed during, during the film. For example, in the Rabbit Proof Fence body paragraph, I would probably elaborate on this further by comparing it to the end where the children are not shown as being weak and Indigenous people are shown in a really strong light. I hope that this video has been helpful and good luck.